Hi, my name is Matthew. I'm an application engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, I wanted to go over some new tools introduced inside DesignX 2020 regarding the auto surface. So auto surface has always been inside of Geomagic Design X. However, in 2020, they added a couple new features to it, which make it pretty handy for being able to auto surface to sections of your mesh versus the entire thing. So I have my mesh inside of Design X, and I have already aligned it to World Origin, and I'm gonna do a normal auto surface. So typically, when we do an auto surface, we generate a series of NURB surfaces that appear over our mesh, which are then turned into a bunch of mini surfaces that are stitched together, creating our solid body or possibly just a section of our um, mesh into a series of surfaces. These are also super accurate. Sometimes, however, we don't need to auto surface the entire thing. What if I just need to auto surface just a section? Well, in 2020, I can now use the 3D sketch tool to map out areas that I want to cut away. And after creating my 3D sketch, going into the auto surface tool, we now have selective surfacing. If I expand this out, I have two options. One is to go by boundary cut, so the 3D sketch that I enabled. When I highlight it all, you're going to see that a section of this is now going to become highlighted itself. This is essentially DesignX saying we recognize where you're going to want to cut away from and what part you want to auto surface. It's going to convert it into a separate mesh entity and then run auto surface on that mesh. I didn't choose to use whole fill. If I used whole fill, it would have created a watertight mesh, which would have then created a solid body. We can use this regarding regions as well. So I can highlight a section of this mesh insert in my own region, and then I can use that auto surface selectional sketch method as well. Again, creating a super accurate mesh. After all is said and done, I can always add in my own surfaces later on if I want to convert one of these surface bodies into a solid if I did not choose that whole fill method. Beyond just the auto surfacing tools, there are other ways we can insert in surface bodies to match our mesh. This has been in for quite a while, but exact surfacing allows us to outline a section of our mesh using a 3D sketch tool, just like we have been beforehand. And with this 3D sketch, we can go into the exact surfacing tab and use fit surface patches. Fit surface patches will allow us to select onto a 3D sketch and essentially just use that as our boundary fits. Now auto surface will create mesh nerve surfaces. This is just using one that we have outlined ourselves. This can work with both just sections of a mesh or that we want to watertight can create solid bodies just like the normal auto surface. I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want more videos on DesignX, SolidWorks, or 3D printing.